hey guys welcome back to my another swift tutorial today also I'll teach you the basics of sprite kit which is used in 2d game iOS so let's get started let's create a new project it's gonna be game name whatever you want and make sure this one is set to sprite kit and I'm gonna save it on desktop I already have one but I'm just gonna okay I'm just gonna create one and let's before we change anything let's go ahead and test it on our device okay my device is 8.4 and currently the deployment target is 9.0 so let me change it so I'll go to sprite kit and right here where it says deployment target I'm gonna set it to 8.4 so now it's gonna be able to run it on my iPhone so let me go ahead and run it okay so it has some issues so it's built before you run it you'll have to uh, first approve the secure uh, you have to trust the app so you'll have to click on trust whenever you first time run it and rerun it now and let me pull up my phone so as you can see on the screen this is my iPhone my physical device so if I tap on my screen it'll add a um, node, sprite kit node, which is this, it's just a plane so every time I touch on it, it adds a node, which is a SK node it's an object so we're gonna learn something similar to this so let's get started let's pause the app kill the app and since I'm not gonna use the spaceship, I'm gonna just delete that spaceship and I'm gonna use my own I got it from internet rocket and so the way this game uh, scene works um, it tells uh, it's basically uh, a scene on uh, over the uh, view so it loads a scene called game scene and uh, it does all that stuff right now we won't go into detail we'll just dive into a game scene right now and learn about SK node instead of that so what it was doing first it was creating a SK label node where you saw the hello world uh, node it was creating an SK node with the label called this uh, um, this is the font name and this is the text that they wanted to appear they set the text size and they set the position where they wanted to show the label so this is like mid and mid so it's this value gets the middle middle uh, position of the screen and self dot frame it returns this place holder uh, like the location and then it says self dot add child which adds the label to the view so it appears if you don't do this it doesn't appear on the screen it only creates it but this one adds it to the screen same thing whenever you touch it it's it's going through the loop every time you touch it so so first it gets the location of that touch and then it, it it's creating a space shift which we saw in here but we deleted so and then it sets the x scale and y scale we'll learn that too now and then it sets the location where it uh, wherever it user tapped and then it sets an action to rotate by an angle 360 angle degree angle and then it says every one second just rotate and then says run action and it says repeat action forever and then like I said it wouldn't appear that that sprite wouldn't appear unless you add that child to the thing but so but we're gonna just delete out all of this thing and we're not gonna we don't need this one either so I'm just gonna delete that so let's create a brand new node so so we need to know the image name so it's called rocket <coughs> excuse me so I'm just gonna create a node on the top or let's just say sprite and it's gonna be type SK 
sprite to kit node and the reason I'm putting exclamation I'm gonna make sure that it gets initialized so now I'm gonna say sprite and then I'm gonna say sk sprite kit node and there are several options you can do you can I you can load it from file name or you can load it from image name and there are other options too we won't do it we're just gonna only deal with image name since we already have the image and our image name is rocket so that one brings our rocket.png as in sprite kit node so it creates that node and then we want to set the position of that node to the way they were doing it in the hello world uh, label so let's do that so they were creating a CG point and for X coordinate we're gonna say the same thing CG point mid let's see if they have CG make point I think let's see so it's CG rect get mid let's see where is mid mid x and then we're just gonna say self dot frame like they had and same thing here but it's gonna be y self dot frame let's go ahead and test it under my iPhone physical device as you can see it didn't add it on the screen so there is a reason why it didn't add it let's go back we did not add it to the view so now it should appear in the view so let's go back The screen is not right. Let me see. And as you can see, our little rocket is right in the middle. So, okay. So now we can apply a lot of different things. So let's try to add a color to our sprite kit. So let's say sprite.color. And you can simply as you can see if you press option and hover over color and click on it it takes a UI color so to get the UI color you say equal UI color dot let's say blue color and before we apply the color we have to also apply the color blend how much color blend I mean how much of you wanna use that color like do we wanna put a hundred percent blue or fifty percent blue so let's say 0 0.5 for now let's save it and let's run it on my physical device and let's see as you can see it applied a color but it didn't make it whole blue it applied a little bit color of say 0.5 percent of color on the sprite kit so that's a color color now let's try an action so to create an action first you have to create a uh, sk action type so let's say move up which will make our rocket go up and let's say sk action move to x or let's see where are the other option move to a location move by x let's use that one we don't want to move by x so we're just going to say 0, 0.0 and to move uh, a y coordinate to make it up let's say 10.0 I guess and the interval is going to be 1 so now this is we create an action but it doesn't apply until we apply it to our sprite to our rocket so to run the action we simply say sprite it has a method called run action and it takes a type called action so we simply pass move up 
and let's run it and let me open my device it says lost connection so as you can see it moved really slowly let's change the size to 100 as you can see it's slowly moving a little bit so that's an action let's create sequence now make it go more faster let's see 17 180 let's create several action and set it to a sequence I'll show you what I mean by sequence so let's colorize it ask action dot colorize with color I'm gonna say let's colorize it with UI color dot red color color blend it's like this so let's apply 0 0.5 again it's gonna be it's gonna look a little bit different and in a row it's gonna be let's say 0 0.13 I guess it's gonna be pretty cool let's create another action where it's gonna wait ask a action wait for a direction and let's wait for 0 0.1 seconds it's really small but and and then let's put that in sequence let's create a sequence to create a sequence ASCII action has a sequence method so you simply pass an array of action so move up colorize and sequence not sequence wait action and same thing how we did move up we simply pass sequence and save it let's see how it applies and let's see why it's calling let okay it's just suggesting let okay let's change it to let because we're not manipulating that variable and let's run it before I run it let me open it on my physical device and let's see how it does as you can see it's moving and then change the color so what sequence does pretty much it, it runs the action in sequence it doesn't run at a time so what it would do it would move up first and then it would colorize it and then it would wait for an action let's let's change this a little bit let's say colorize it first wait for a moment and then move up so what it did it waited at first it colored it waited and then moved up so now there's another thing called group so if I simply change this to a group it'll do everything at the same time so it'll run all these actions at the same time so let me go back and run it I don't know this iTunes is so as you can see it runs it changed the color while I was running let's go ahead and remove everything up to the color blend we're gonna try some other actions so let's create an action called uh, zoom or let's create an action for move up again so ask a action move by x we're gonna say 0 and let's say 200 for this time and we're gonna say 0 0.1 Let's create another action called zoom. Ask a action, and we're gonna scale the image, scale the node to a uh, 
let's keep it 1.5 and it should take only a quarter of a half uh, 25 and then let's wait well wait okay I'll show you wait wouldn't work if you are using group it only works in a sequence because what wait does it waits for a certain things to happen but in group it, it does everything at the same time so wait shouldn't matter in when you use group I'll show you what I mean so wait sk action wait for I'd say half a second and let's say fade away and fade away out within and then let's say sequence ask a action sequence and we'll say we'll just add all those up in an array zoom wait fade away and let's add that action to our sprite run action sequence and let me run it on my phone meanwhile let me just run it hopefully it pops up okay it did so pay attention to this one closely so it's gonna first move up then it's gonna zoom in and then it's gonna wait and then it's gonna fade away so as you can see it faded away so now let's try group but few things we won't need for group we can't use this one cuz if we say fade away let's let's increase the size of this one in 1.0 so that way we'll see it and we don't want to use this weight and let's see what happens if you use a group instead of sequence just let's simply change it to group and now let's run it run it okay there is an error why there is an error let's see couldn't find wait okay cuz we deleted okay now run it it should work now it's gonna do every single thing move up zoom and fade away in in one one as a group instead of see see the transition now it looks different than would it, sh it would it would in sequence so it moved up it zoomed while it was moving up and it faded away while it was moving zooming in and faded away so if I simply change it to sequence it's simple it changes the animation to totally different change the screen man all right it did okay since sequence it went it went up moved up and then it 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 got to the point where it stopped and then it faded it zoomed in and then it faded away so let's go back to group and simply run it again and you'll see that transition what I'm talking about so it's gonna move up while it's zooming in and it's gonna fade away so that's a nice transition for the game so that's all for this tutorial and thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you like the video. I know it took a while to finish this video, but we've tested it while we were uh, putting the code in. So hopefully this helps you. If you guys have any questions, please comment and subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys.